Oh, morning everybody, it's Pete here from Turnaround Property and um, we're doing a series on BRR which is buy, refurbish, refinance and rent and uh, at the moment I'm doing a project up in Barnsley it's for a £67,000 purchase price uh, on a terraced house there and uh, I'm kind of using the Samuel Leeds buy low, rent high model for this one so uh, you might have as far as intros to me I've been in property since 2008 um, this is my fourth investment house my fifth including my residential one and um, this series is talking through the investment on that buy to let and showing you the processes it's going through so in the previous video we um, we've put the offering on the house and got that accepted and then we were looking for some finance so uh, in the end, I went for a buy-to-let mortgage of 75% loan-to-value, um, so that needs about a 16 or £17,000 deposit and then a £50,000 mortgage. Um, the reason I went for buy-to-let in the end was I looked through a lot of the bridging loan uh, facilities that were available and they were all mega expensive, so £2,000 on fees, £1,500 on solicitors, um, valuation 300 and then you have to pay all of your interest fees up front on this particular instrument sometimes you can service the loan on a monthly basis um, but this particular deal because it's only at 66,000 it means that the lenders don't want to service the loan um, and they want to charge you all of those um, interest fees up front which are around 0.8% a month um, yeah so in the end what happened was I went for a buy to let mortgage with the mortgage works through a, a really good broker and I managed to get 75% buy to let on that which gives me about a loan of 50,000 um, so that's going to be good so 3% of 50,000 a year is the is the interest around that 3 3.5% I think it worked out at about £150. And then we also, I sent some builders round um, to look at the refurb. Um, Haybrook in Barnsley are just absolutely brilliant estate agents. They allow me to send builders into houses with just a business card, which is brilliant. And that allowed me to send a number of builders round to look at the refurb uh, in order to get that house flipped really fast. Because as you know it's the, the amount of interest that you pay in during the refurb and how long it takes you to get it refurb before you get any cash flow back in before you can rent the house before you can get people in there renting it for you um, so the builders went round and they found a couple of things so they found that the dormer at the top of the house is leaking and needs remediation and they also found that there was a pipe that needs sorting out in the back of the house um, so I managed to negotiate the house price down by a thousand pound to take it to 66,000 as part of that investigative work so I was really pleased with that so we've got it down to 66 um, that remediation is going to cost me a bit of money to, to get sorted so that, but that'll be fine and um, I'm just in the middle of trying to sort out which builder I want to do the work so on this particular house it needs um, it needs kitchen doing it needs bathroom doing and then it needs the decoration sorting now by sorting I mean in the rooms where it's quite poor we'll probably strip the room see if it needs re-skimming and then redecorate in some of the rooms they don't need a lot of work so it can just be patched up and, and painted and and brought up to standard there's a couple of areas where um, there's some coloration on the walls partially in the roof area that's going to have the new dormer flashing and some in the lower ground in the ground floor area that's going to need a little bit of investigation and remediation there so in the end i think the refurb in total including all the materials is going to cost me about 10 grand um, so that takes me up to seventy six thousand in total and probably around there's 500 fees for the broker there's 300 no there's no valuation fees on this so we're probably talking 
we'll have 78 ish in the house when we're finished so that's 66,000 10 grand for the refurb and 2 grand for the fees and then we're hoping to revalue the house at around a hundred thousand pound um, we're hoping it's going to take about two months to do the refurb um, and get tenants in we think the rent's going to be between 550 and 600 for this particular house because the rental demands really high at the moment and um, what will happen is after six months on the buy to let we can refinance uh, so I hadn't realized that on some buy to let mortgages you can refinance after six months so we'll refinance after six months we'll take it up to a hundred thousand value and then 75% of a hundred thousand is 75,000 uh, as you know our total cost is 78,000 so we'll leave 3,000 in the house and take the rest of our deposit back out again ready for the next one so that's the current plan uh, we're about four weeks out on the uh, legal and solicitors and valuations and lending and all that type of thing one thing that's a good tip with all this is I tend to try and get an update from the solicitor every week because what tends to happen is they get dead busy and they're doing other cases and and they don't sometimes get round to your case what I find is that if I do a push every week on them and give them a call and ask them where it is and if it's with us then that tends to g things up a bit and it moves quicker on so at the moment waiting for the the valuation and the legals to come through I'm hoping to get the house sometime in September and then do the work for about two to four weeks to get it back on the market and get it rented again and uh, I'll do you an update once we've got any updates on the house so there you go so it's Pete from Turnaround Property uh, please like subscribe and comment what are your thoughts on this BRR strategy what do you think about it and uh, please subscribe uh, say anything you like in the comments give me a big thumbs up that helps the YouTube channel grow and uh, I'll catch up with you next time alright bye for now